Okay, back to Flash. Um, now that we've taken a quick look at the server-side extension, we're going to now look at the code in Flash. So on the timeline for the uh, My Avatar chat, if we look at the um, action script, there's no changes until we get to the connect um, keyframe. And I'll click on the action script here, and I'll open up my action script window. And um, I'll make this a little bit bigger, make it easier to read for you. Okay, that makes it a little bit easier. And um, there are no changes here except, let's see here, um, right now I am connecting on my local loopback IP address. So right now my IP address is set to 127.0.0.1, but normally um, I have to change this to whatever the IP address of my server is. So I'll put this IP address to wherever my SmartFox server is located. Now right now I'm, I'm running my SmartFox server locally right here, so um, I just have to uh, set it here to 127.0.0.1 because I'm connecting from my computer. But if I took my flash file, and what I mean is this flash file right here, and I tried to connect from, let's say, another laptop in the, on the network, or from another computer on the network, then I would need to find out what is the IP address that I need to connect to at this computer, which in this case is like 192.168.2.105, right? So normally, like I said, if I was going to connect my um, Flash avatar chat from another computer on the network, then 127.0.0.1 would not work. It would have to be the IP address where the SmartFox server is located. And the SmartFox server is right here. This is it, right? And this computer is 192.168.2.105. So I would need to change this to 192.168.2.105. And then people on the local network could see it. Now, if I'm going to put try to connect to it from across the internet, from the WAN, from the wide area network, from like, let's say from the college or from uh, some other home or from another state or another country, then this needs to be the IP address of still where my SmartFox server is located. And 192.168.2.105 will not be correct because that's a private IP address. You need to find out what is the public IP address of your, um, your home, your router, or your, your web server. What is the public IP address? And then that will go in here. And then, of course, you'll have to, on your router, uh, allow port forwarding to allow it to forward the request on port 9339 to the computer that has the SmartFox server within it. So once again, if on a uh, implementation that's live on an actual, um, let's say, uh, server that you can connect to from across the internet, this address has to be your public IP address. Okay. Then the other changes that I made, I left the port number alone. I changed the zone, right, the variable zone, var zone, from simple chat, which is the original avatar chat, to database zone, DB zone. Now, why did I do this? DB capital Z zone. I did this because the simple chat, right, um, the simple chat avatar chat does not really connect to a database, right? And I want this application to connect to a database because I want to save the avatar settings and I want to save it to a MySQL database. So in um, the config file, DB zone, the database zone, is the zone that has the database manager where you connect to databases. So I had to change that. Okay, then the next thing that I did was on the function handle connection, I commented out these three lines because I want to automatically send a login and this deals with the automated login procedure that I said is optional. You don't have to do that. But if you want to do it, you need to watch the previous tutorial where I talk about um, how to automate the login using um, Joomla and Joomi. 
and so send long. So that this is you don't have to do this for this tutorial. And then if but if you do do it, you also have to change the function send login. And what I did was uh, smartfox.login. Instead of sending the login text that you filled in the, your username that you filled in the text box yourself when you fill in username and hit connect, I passed it a variable from the flash file. And like I said, that's part of another movie. So this is also this modification is unnecessary if you're just doing this tutorial. Okay. So the only thing you'll have to make sure of is that you can um, connect with your um, IP address and that the only, and that you change to database zone.